about that. Okay, now hold, like, look at me. See if you can video me and see if you can see me in the thing. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay, so when I teach maths, this, is, this video is about homeschool curriculum, and I just want to go through it with you quickly. And I want to show you the books that I use, but first of all, I do want to show you um, how I teach maths when I really start off. Okay, so you've got to keep it like this so you can see me from the thing. Okay, so with, we do finger patterns, which is like this. So we go one, two, one. Thanks. <laughs> well done. three, four, five. Okay, really like such a good way to teach them. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this is like phenomenal to help them. Okay, so one, two, three. So you can do it with that, things like five little ducks. Five little ducks go out one day over the hill and far away. Mother duck says quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. And then you go all the way down. Okay, so that's good. And I love doing that kind of thing in the bath. It's kind of really good use of time. Okay, so now the this is what we do for maths. Um, so I was reinventing the wheel and I discovered, I love curriculum development, but there's no time really. Once I've done the the washing and the cooking and tidy the kitchen and try to keep the house at a hygienic level. Ooh, everyone give everyone little outings and exercise, you know, socialize everyone. It's just like you just don't have time to reinvent the wheel and they've made beautiful resources. And I comforted myself with the fact that <laughs> I comforted myself with the fact that if I want to reinvent the wheel I can with a like biblical studies lesson or a um you know, one of our topic lessons, which is at the moment, animals, which is the zoo, which I'm loving. Didn't even know what an animal really was. Okay, now, this one is the alphabet one. Now, what I did is I left the books out in a little pile where they could see them to see if they would be like, hey, mom, we want to do this. And it worked. They did. They came to me with this page, both of them. And we're like, oh, mommy, we want to do this one. I want to do this one. Yes, you can. This is the alphabet book, and they wanted to do J. Mm -hmm. Oh man, hand running's painful. Mm -hmm. So tedious. We've got these pencil grips. This is um, starts off like this. It's your first one. And when we're working with these books, I do them pencil. And I use these pencil grips. Yeah, I found that one. Thanks. And this is the stage two. And there's a whole lot of them. I got them off Trade Me, of course. And it just teaches you, and it's easy. <laughs> okay. Then, oh man, handwriting, painful for me. Did it, handwriting formation, I'm like a stickler for it. You've got to do it right. Okay, so this is how we're doing it. So that way we can remember which way the tail goes, because we were doing it the wrong way. Okay, so you have to do number one, and then you can do number two. Okay. Now, okay, so Deborah's two. This is two, so out for a walk. So this is the maths one. I think I showed you that already. Two, out for a walk, circle two dogs two squirrels and two umbrellas and this one you circle one Deborah can you see the number one um with teaching number identification we love doing it with post boxes when we go for a walk okay so that I've so did I show you thinking skills let's do thinking skills thinking skills is great I love it because it has such a good process on logic and sometimes one feels that logic is kind of missing so we did Deborah and I did this one but I haven't done it with praise yet but it was like right under what happened first and second and third. And actually, like, it's so good because they have to think. It's so good to learn to think. Also, this one, a lot of it, you can do some of this on your own, which I really like quite easily. It doesn't need as much help. Okay, so then the next, so I've showed you, I've showed you, have I showed you tracing, tracing, even better. Preparing them for handwriting super fun they can pick a page and do a few pages and you wouldn't think it was hard but it is actually for them it's hard to actually do that in between the lines okay so, so so yeah i have a thinking one a tracing one an alphabet one so all from what calls which you might be able to get online because i noticed the older kids book during lockdown you can still actually get the older education ones and that counting one then and I got a topic one, and I'm doing. I got these ones from the zoo shop, and they weren't. These books aren't expensive. So, so this one was fifteen, and that was eight for that one. And then I think this one was a bit more. The alphabet one, seventeen. Okay, so they just love stickers, right? But I wanted something that had good info in it. So this is small mammals, large mammals. No jumping on the couch. 
okay? You know, the different um, classifications. And it and goes into, like, habitats as well, which is really lovely. And they love it because they get to, like, do the stickers after we've done the page. So each week I'll try and do, like, a couple pages. And that'll be it. So here's, here's an example of the stickers that they've got to do with the water mammals. And then if I need them to watch something on TV, I know where I'm going and we do, like, we do some... Um, Uh, something mammal related. I also had another one which I really love. This is my other thing, but I decided I wouldn't do it yet. This one's from, this one's also fantastic, and this one is from Whitkles. As so, that's really great. And then I have a few other like kind of like little animal resources I got, and it was which one did I really like? It was I got this one. And I got these from the zoo shop a while ago. I don't know if you can still get them. But I think it was the Factivity one I liked because it showed, had a page there that was really great. Oh, yes. Yeah, that was a Christmas present, eh? That was from uh, Warehouse. Okay. All right, so what is an animal? Okay. <laughs> and I really liked this. And I really liked it because I was like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> and I don't think I really paid very much attention to what I wasn't that interested in. And um, yeah, I'm now just loving the fact that I get to redo my education at a level where I am so interested. Okay, there was something else I wanted to tell you. Okay, now for reading, as I mentioned before, I'm doing like, I do my reading with, oh, I think I mentioned it. Anyway, I do my reading with... The, the alphabet like quite strictly and I made these little readers for the girls because we were struggling to read um, and I wanted it to be like really motivating so just made them a little reader okay and with really simple words so I googled like you know what's your top 25 words that you use most common in reading language and then I just made a little reader for them and they really love love it and they love that, that it's hardly any pages like it's not a lot of words you know it's quite simple and like all the and is the same color and um, then we had to do praise of course had to have one so she got she got Andy so this was like my way of being creative while being a mother okay Oh, yes, yeah, so then I made another reader, and you can see there I Google like Google all the top 25 words. So that was for my next reader. Okay, so Deborah wants to show you her little one that she did. And then I understood why those readers all sound the same. This is for you, 20. That was my cat when I was young. It is from Deborah in Praise. Mm. Like, it's hilarious, isn't this? It is for you to have. It is for your birthday. You can play with the mouse that was in the box. We love to play with Twenty and his mouse. He loves his box most, of course. Of course. And then Deborah did a very special lemur at the back, which is super special fold-out page there. Like this one. Mean at the back. That one. Oh yes, so creative, lovely. Thank you, Deborah. Okay, so then I will also color color one in and do it for them as well. But I wanted to make them a little coloring in book just to. You know, that's something really fun to do while you're locked down. Okay, now, just while I'm showing you things, I might as well go downstairs and just show you. I've got a few, just a puzzle that I have that I really loved. This room is a mess. I've been trying to tidy it for weeks. And I love this puzzle. Also, trade me, of course. Okay, now I was trying to, I know that we have a lot of dyslexia, so I wanted us to avoid um, having problems with it. So I've taken like three quarters of a year, half a year to do this. Okay, and I like this because it, it puts it in the right way. Okay, so it's really good. So you don't get confused when you're going to flip it around. Because then I was finding, we were making these 3D letters out of uh, salt dough, but then you could kind of move it around anyway. And I was like, oh no, that's not good. Let's get the puzzle. That's the way it goes. Okay. And then also, when I was doing that book, like I would find the, 
I would find the M and the O and the G and be like, okay, can you make me mark? And then we would like, um, you know, okay, what's the first sound that you can hear? Mark. And you say it really slowly with them. And oh, it's a M. Okay, so we put that first and then we find the R and then the G. Okay, that's that. Okay. And then this is a really awesome one as well. I really love this one. But Isaiah, who's my two-year-old, has decided it's now his, so it's looking kind of messy. But he just he, he just loves anything <laughs> mathematical. Like he loves puzzles and he loves the abacus. He's decided it's his and puzzles. Yeah. And this as well. He's just no, it's mine now. But I liked also that the letters were 3D and that you couldn't twist them around and then you could you have to count my sister-in-law was telling me that she watched a video on teaching kids to count and so say they're going to count these three okay it's like it's good if they can touch it like one two three otherwise they, they go oh one two three four and they kind of like miss one okay that's that's all i wanted to say i'll just say goodbye Bye.